I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's happening. So Taurus, for the present time coming up mid-May, we've got the Chariot and the Strength card. Now this Chariot, excuse me, this Chariot is a bottle. It's about a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. Um, the energy is directed, controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So you probably will be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involved, what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, it's all about determination and ambition when you get this card in your reading. It's about getting things done, testing and proving that you got what it takes. It's a sign that you, sh you should move forward with what you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember, you will have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. Now, it's here with a strength card. Now, the strength card, it's important to meditate, contemplate, and spend time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids, some, t some time alone is, looks like it's needed with a strength card. But don't allow yourself to spend preoccupation in fear. Yeah, you want to spend little time in, in preoccupation and fear because the outward things will be going all right. But most important, most important thing is keeping your head on straight. Just know with the strength card, you got the ability to do that and you also have the responsibility. So make sure you try to conquer any fears and control your impulses and try to never lose patience with what you're trying to do. So coming up, we got um, for your present time, Chariot and Strength card. The Strength card, it's about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Now with the Chariot here, it looks like something is probably will get out of hand. Looks because the chariot goes about a hundred miles an hour or faster. It goes really fast. So something, some situation, maybe you and your person or something may happen in May where you could be tempted to go too far too fast. Or someone could be press pressuring you that way. So because the strength card is there, you may decide to choose self-love, self-respect, and be strong about how you handle this person that may be pushing you too far too fast. So, yeah, you might just tell them to... You might just be conquering any fears that they put on you, but... Let's take a look at the rest of the reading, and then we'll get back to these, and uh, it will help, the rest of the reading will help to clarify these two cards. But at least for now, you know what they mean. So we've got the, we've got the High Priestess, that's how your person sees you, and they also see you as this Six of Cups. Now the High Priestess it can be a spiritual card. It can have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, and to inspiration. So it's going to be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important that you pay attention to any dreams coming up. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it will be a good idea. This is how your person, they see you like the high priestess. You can be quiet, mysterious. They might see you as secretive. But let's clarify it because it's with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can 
be but not always connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So they see you as needing to refocus this connection with them towards the future. Yeah, towards the future with the Six of Cups. Um, but it's with the High Priestess, so... They could be really attracted to you. Very, they, well, I'm sorry, they see you as very attract, attracted. They see you. My tongue is getting twisted, sorry. They see you as very attractive. They're drawn to you with the high priestess. But you could be, they could feel like you pull your energy back. And that you need to refocus this connection towards the future. Now, this is kind of interesting because the Six of Cups, it could be a reappearance of an old lover, a long lost love. The Six of Cups. So, this card can go, these two cards can go a few ways. It can also mean that. You could be, are you a past person, Taurus? Are you dating someone that you used to date? And they are very familiar and comfortable with you. They see you as familiar. They see you as someone from the past that they have happy memories with. And they really, they see you as being very attractive. So... These, these two can go, these cards, they can go a few different ways, but let's see what the rest of the reading is saying, and then we'll get the full picture for all the cards, okay? So you see your person as Two of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. So the Two of Pentacles is about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to, to quite so many things because multitasking Multitasking, multitasking is multitasking is not your friend now. Multi, multi, which one? So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. So your financial situation may need to be more balanced. Be sure that you're paying attention there. Now, this two of pinnacles. It's about back and forth, several tasks. This is how you see them. You can see them as a two-timer. They do a lot of juggling. Now, you also see them as a queen of swords, which is a very forceful energy. She's the type of person that's not to be trifled with. You can't mess with the queen of swords. She has a very forceful and honest energy. In some situations, you may need you may need to be like this just to get your needs met. So you might find yourself putting your foot down, and your instincts are on point. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Like I said, this Queen of Swords is a very forceful energy, and a lot of people find her really abrasive. And this is how you see your person very forceful. They could be um, pretty cold, come across as really cold. And you see them as probably juggling. They have more than just you. They, they two time there and they bring some imbalance to this connection. And because it's with the Queen of Swords, you see them as, yeah, they can be, like I said, their energy can be kind of harsh. Probably real sharp. 
you might think they're cold hearted or just forceful is the word that keeps coming up with this queen of swords now that's how you see them let's move on over let's take a look at why it's happening ace of cups and ten of cups ace of cups is very very powerful very powerful in the tarot it's about love happiness and affection like all the aces it's about new beginnings and although it usually means love it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life things are looking up 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 in a way with the ace of cups people will respond to you with happiness love and goodwill more than usually at this time and you'll be feeling really really good about the future so one of the reasons why it's happening because there's a lot of deep attraction yeah as we talked about this before they see you as very attractive Taurus as this high priestess there so there's a lot of attraction and warmth looks like it's from your person or maybe it's in the in the energy of you two but it's with the ten of cups which is another one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot yeah everyone wants the ten of cups it's not missing any cups it doesn't miss a cup ten is the tops it points to happiness perhaps in a more mature grown-up kind of way it's a very good card it could be about happy family life even if you're single to the general well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about your parents siblings children your pets and much more you could be spiritually fulfilled at this time once again i can't say it enough this is a good card to see regardless of any question why it's happening ten of cups eight of cups deep attraction a lot of warmth this is a dream come true for one of you. Yeah, so. So let's recap this reading so that we can get the full picture. So basically, for the present time, we talked about the chariot. Something went too far too fast. Okay, and it looks like strength is there so um, it's all about being stronger and um, standing in your standing in your truth and embracing it's about conquering any fears uh, if it's a relationship it's a strong relationship and mutually supportive self-love is there now your person they see you as they're very attracted to you with the high priestess they're drawn to you you're, you're like um, a magnet to them and they're happy they see you as familiar they see you as probably someone that they've known before in a past life very comfortable with you and you see them as probably a two-timer they juggle they bring in balance to this connection and they can be kind of pushy probably arrogant at times and because we got the ace of cups and the ten of cups these two are all about new beginnings and happy times and warmth and dreams coming true and deep attraction So that's interesting because the Ace of Cups, like I said, I'm picking up as your person. They got deep attraction. They're deeply attraction. They're deeply attracted to you and have a lot of probably have um, a lot of warm feelings about you because because of the Six of Cups, it's familiar. Um, could be someone from the past that you're deal dealing with, or could be that they just they're so comfortable with you you like um, like I said someone from past life before 
So your persons get this Ace of Cups. Yeah, they like the way you make them feel, but you still see them as juggling, as maybe a player, or they they um they bring in balance to this connection. Cause the Two of Pentacles is about juggling. Okay, so I'm picking up that because the Queen of Swords is there, they know that because they're attracted to you and you got this Ten of Cups here, that's the end all, be all. That could move to marriage, engagement, childbirth, living together. Because that Ten of Cups is there, they know that they need to be like this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, she also cuts things out. She puts a stop to a lot of nonsense. So you see them as juggling, bringing in balance, two-timing. But you also see them needing to put a stop to it. That's why the Queen of Swords is there. You see them as needing to cut out the extracurricular activities. Okay? It looks like you guys probably started off going too far, too fast. You guys probably just jumped right in there. And your person probably had was dealing with other people that they're probably still dealing with. So it's the connection is off balance right now. But it has the potential to be really strong with the strength card showing up in your reading and mutually supportive. And you two have the this connection has a possibility to to go to the next level. Marriage, engagement, because the Ten of Cups is there. But you see them needing to cut out. Be like the Queen of Swords. Cut out this juggling. Yeah, because they like you a lot. They think you're beautiful, Taurus. And you give them warm, cozy feelings. Yeah, the Six of Cups there. They feel really familiar with you. Very comfortable. I think, like I said, like they've known you before. But they need to pull out that sword and cut out the juggling. Yeah, and then um, um, you guys could have the end all be all. The Ten of Cups is powerful. The Ten of Cups can knock out everything in this reading. And the Strength card is saying that it's possible. It can happen. So that's the reading that I have for you, Taurus. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. What I'll do is I'll put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I've also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Taurus, once again, happy birthday. Hope it's a great one for you. Be safe out there with this crazy virus going around. And stay strong. That's very important. Stay strong these days. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. And please join me for the next reading, which is in about another five to six days. Once again, have a great day and hope to see you soon.